right. For the proximal tibial uh, fibula joint, I usually like to get the patient in uh, sort of a hook line position. I like this position better than prone or sideline in terms of you can actually get it to move, but you also can assess the patient's uh, facial grimaces or anything in that manner. Uh, the position of the foot should be just a little bit of external rotation of the tibia. Doesn't really matter too much the angle of the knee, but about uh, 79 degrees works works pretty well if you can get it to that position. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, access this joint by going posteriorly to the fibula head. Uh, kind of grab uh, through the gastroc, lateral head of the gastroc, until we feel that we're on the joint and not just pulling the soft tissues. Okay. Um, the grip will be somewhat of a lubrical grip. Again, we're going to use the the fat pad part of the second and third um, digits in particular to grab onto to the joint. We're going to stabilize the tibia with the other hand. Um, the line of force is not going to be directly in the frontal plane. Um, it's going to be about 20 degrees off in the line of the joint. That's what helps with the, the foot angle here too. Um, and so you can kind of get to where you can feel the end range a little bit and just a little thrust.